championships. There has been the uh, inclusion of sea level uh, difficulties and beyond. Um, getting uh, athletes uh, being allowed to um, compete and uh, use Group C difficulties and getting full marks for them. However, uh, from what we've seen is uh, athletes attempting that, not very many of them are achieving it and uh, getting that score. This is uh, Wei Ting Zoe Mui from Singapore. There's you see that jump front kick aerial. Inside 360 into a horse stance landing. Looks like there was a little bit of a misstep on the jump front kick aerial. And a bit of a sway on that balance, it seems. Good speed on her kicks. So there you see the side kick combination. This is a block and striking combination that is very typical in the Changchun event. One of the stronger performing athletes uh, in those technical aspects. However, uh, as you mentioned uh, earlier in her form, there were a couple of uh, slight losses of balance. A uh, slight misstep on her uh, back sweep there. Judge, it should uh, take off a mark on that. That is a butterfly kick into a lotus stance. And her final empty stance. And form completion. But uh, strong technical components. However, uh, for her group A, there were areas of the deductions that were quite apparent. She's very strong, very athletic. If she can get some of those technical deductions under control, I think she'd be able to score very well. You can see just in the height of her jumps and the execution of those movements, it's done very well. Just some minor little things like that slight misstep. Now on that split landing, I believe what the judges are looking for is really the alignment of the leg. Uh, you see some athletes uh, having a slight bounce. I don't believe uh, that is what the judges are deducting for, but rather they're deducting for the alignment of the... Uh